Okay, uh, welcome to the video tutorial for doing a very simple stop motion video. Okay, uh, the first thing you need to do is to download a zip file, mouse raw.zip. Okay, then, then the next thing you need to do is to unzip the, the folder. Okay, so that, and then you can take a look inside this folder. You can see that it consists of uh, 25 steel images and also three music file okay due to uh, licensing issue uh, i'm not including the music file you will have to find your own music all right to okay so let's close this okay the first thing you need to do is to launch a uh, premiere pro creative cloud okay then uh, click on uh, new project Okay, then once you have the new project window, uh, go to browse. Okay, then the very first thing you should do is always to create a new folder for every video project. So click on new folder and then I'm going to call it mouse demo project. I always need to uh, end my folder name with a project so that I know this is a, a project folder. Okay, click on create and make sure it's selected then click on choose okay under name I'm just going to call it a, give you a relevant uh, relevant name called mouse demo under okay then uh, you can take a look here okay under renderer it, it really depends uh, if, if your if your higher end computer you you can use hardware acceleration if not just use software. I'm just going to use software to demonstrate uh, today. Okay, and then scratch this, make sure it's all the same as project. Okay, once done, you can click on OK. Okay, now uh, the Premiere Pro interface has loaded. Okay, the very first thing you need to do, go to Premiere Pro, the main menu, then go to Preference, go to General. Okay, under Preferences, Okay, go to uh, see still image default duration. Make sure it is uh, the default is 150. If I'm not wrong, okay. Make sure it change to five. Okay, the reason is because we're gonna do uh, a five frame per second stop motion video. Uh, we are we are in PAL land here, so it's 25 frame per second. So if I want five images in one second, so each image should last for five second, five frames. Okay, so click on OK. Then the next thing, go to the project panel. Then double click on import media to start. Once you double click, you will see the import window. Then go to the folder that you have just unzipped. Okay, now uh, before we do this, sorry, let me just do something. Go to finder. And then make sure you move this folder inside the mouse demo project okay this is so that all my assets are inside the project folder this will enable you to move your your whole project easily to another computer if necessary okay so let me go back okay import media to start okay go to mouse raw click on the first image if you can just uh, click on command a to select everything or control a on the windows and then click on import Okay, once all the the video assets has been have been imported, you can you can uh, scroll and uh, take a look here. Okay, you can double click so that you can see on the the, the source monitor the preview panel. Okay, you can also listen to the the sound. Okay, now another way to view uh, your assets in the project panel is to use the, the switch between icon and list view. Okay, if you switch to icon view, then you can see them. But list view helps you to uh, enable you to see more assets if you have a smaller uh, screen. Okay, so uh, doesn't matter which one you use. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to file, new. I'm going to create a new sequence. Okay, by right, if this is a video asset, you can just uh, drag your media inside the timeline, and you and Premiere Pro uh, Creative Cloud will automatically create a sequence based on your video setting, original video setting based on what you have already recorded. So if you recorded uh, AVC HD 720p25, 
your timeline will automatically be set to that setting. But, but the thing is that uh, we are using photos here, images here, so there isn't any uh, video setting to begin with. So we need to create our new sequence manually. So go to File, New, and then Sequence. Okay, so I'm going to choose AVC HD 720p, 720p 25. Of course, you can work with uh, 1080, but I'm just going to choose uh, 7 uh, ABC HD 720p 25. Okay, uh, it's a smaller file to work with. Okay, then I'm going to click OK. So there we get our timeline. It's called sequence 01. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, select on the first image. And then I'm going scrolling down. Oh, then I'm going to hold the shift button and I'm going to click on 25. Okay, so now I simultaneously selected the, the, all 25 images. Okay, now click on the icon, always click on the icon, not the text. Okay, click on the icon, drag over and put under V1 video track. Okay, once I put here, it's too small to be seen. You have to zoom in, use the zoom bar to zoom in. And then now we can see all our uh, images. Okay, you can uh, scrub through the, the timeline. Use your mouse, pull over this bar here. You can, this is called scrubbing. Okay, you, uh, you click and drag, and then you can scrub through the video. Or you can click on the, the space bar, or use this button to play and pause. Alright, okay, so we, we get our, uh, in a way we have already gotten our stop motion video. Okay, but uh, there are more things to be done. Okay, the, the next thing we're going to do, click on the first Click the first uh, photo. Okay, then go to Window, go to Effect Control. Okay, the shortcut key is actually uh, Shift Five. Okay, so go to Effect Controls Window. Okay, what I'm going to do? I'm going to expand the motion section. Okay, now because the photo is actually much bigger uh, than than uh, the video format, the video format is actually uh, 1280 by 720. Okay, 1280 by 720, so I'm going to reduce the scale to match the video. Okay, so I'm going to drag to the left. Okay, we do not want the black, ugly black, black bars at the side. Okay, so I'm going to expand it again. Okay, it's roughly 78, 79, but I'm just going to uh, put it at 80. In other ways, you can just type it in. Okay, 80 and then press enter. Okay, so now my first uh, clip is uh, at uh, scale 80%, but the others are not. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on the first clip, then click on copy. Okay, then now uh, select, make sure you're using the select selection tool. Okay, select from the second clip onwards, all the way to the end. Okay, so now they're all selected, then I'm going to just uh, choose one of them, I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to paste attributes. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm basically I'm trying to uh, copy the scale attribute. Okay, just now I changed to 80, so I'm going to copy the 80% over to the rest. Okay, this is a very fast way of doing things. Okay, click on OK. And there you go. You can see that the whole uh, video is now 80%. Or the images are 80%. Okay, now you see this red bar here. It means that Premiere Pro may not be able to play back your video in real time. So what you need to do, you need to render. Okay, you need to uh, render your video. Okay, the shortcut key will be to press enter. Key. So I'm gonna just press enter here. Once you render, you take a bit of time depending how fast your computer is. Okay, once you render, you can see that uh, it has turned to green. Okay, green means that Premiere Pro can now play play back your video in real time. Okay, so I'm just going to play back. Okay, so this is how the video looks like. All right. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to insert the music. Okay, I'm going to scroll down, find my music. It's called Limehouse Rex Stinger. Okay, I'm going to again remember to click on the click and drag the icon. Okay, and I'm going to drag it here into A1 audio track. It's the audio track. Okay, if I if I click on the name, sometimes you, you will become uh, renaming, so you always click on the icon. Alright, now just let me zoom out a little bit. And now I'm going to 
Okay, I'm going to uh, end my title. I'm going to put the title here, around here. Okay, but uh, it's very hard to see, so I'm going to expand the audio track. You can see when you put your mouse over here, the, the cursor has changed, so you can now expand the audio track. Okay, once you expand the audio track, you can see the audio waveform. Okay, so I can uh, use the mouse left and right arrow key to, to pinpoint where I want to put. Place my title. Okay, I'm going to place it here. Okay, so now place the timeline indicator here. Okay, the next thing, go to title, the new title, default still. Okay, uh, everything is okay, just click OK. And then you get the title editor. Now click on the type tool. And then just click somewhere here. Okay, uh, I'm going to choose future font. If you don't like future font, you can choose something else. Okay, I'm just going to choose future font. Okay, so the, uh, yeah, what did I do? Okay, so choose future font. Okay, I'm type here. Okay, I'm going to call it mouse. A uh, simple stop motion video. Okay, click on the selection tool. I'm going to uh, center the alignment. And here I'm going to select the mouse word. I'm going to make it bigger, much bigger. Okay, I'm going to make this uh, line smaller so that they align with each other. Okay, click selection two again. Now there's a very simple way to uh, position your text right in the middle. Okay, you can see over here there's two buttons here. One is to uh, do the vertical center, the other one is to horizontal center. So you just need to click both button, and immediately your text is uh, your title is centered in the video. Okay, so if you want, you can always change the color. I'm just going to make it more white. Okay, click on the color here. I'm going to make it select, uh, more white, pure white. Okay, I'm happy. Then I'm going to click on uh, the. I'm going to close the window. Okay, once you close the window, you can see that you have a title asset here. If you anytime you want to edit, re-edit the title, you just Double click on the icon, it will bring you back to the, the title window. Okay, and then you can uh, re edit. Okay, I'm just going to close it. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, click and drag on the title. Okay, I'm going to place it right at where I, I position my timeline indicator. Okay, so now I'm going to play. Okay, my title is a uh, has uh, appeared and uh, disappeared too uh, too fast. Okay, I'm going to lengthen the the title. I'm going to put it. Uh, once you put your mouse at the end of the clip, you can see that the cursor has changed. It's uh, com changed to trim trim mode, so you can uh, make it lengthen the clip. Okay, it's still slightly too short, so I'm going to lengthen it even more. Okay, I'm happy now. If you want, you can always add a, a fade at the back. Okay, go to effects panel, go to video transition, go to dissolve, and then uh, add deep to black right at the back. Okay, then you can uh, shorten the the deep to black. Okay, so I have a fade at the back. Okay, maybe I want to just lengthen the whole thing a bit. Right, so and once you see red, you can uh, click on the enter key to render again. Okay, so then now it turns to uh, green, means you can play back in real time. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, go back to project panel. Okay, then I'm going to add the eating and uh, puke sound effect. Okay, so I'm going to locate where I want to uh, add the eating effect. Okay, it's around here, you can see, you can see that our mouse start eating. Uh, the, the pin okay remember sound usually travels slower than light I'm, I'm sorry there's a fact uh, sound travels slower than light so uh, usually we, we see it and then we hear it so there's a slight delay okay so maybe uh, just uh, around here okay so I'm going to add the eating here into A2 A2 audio track okay so again uh, I'm going to locate uh, where he finished eating. So he swallowed the last pin, then maybe I just uh, 
you know, go a bit further. Remember, sound travels slower than light. Okay, then I'm going to go to the end of the the eating uh, audio track. I'm going to trim it now. All right, so now we have the eating. Okay, I'm just going to make it a bit longer so that it sounds nicer. Okay, so then you know you can finish digest uh, eating and digestion. Okay, then the next thing is the mouse puking is around here. As you can see that the, the, the mouse has puked the pin. Okay, so I'm gonna add the puke sound. Okay. okay, so I'm just gonna I think we're almost done. Let me just play back again. Very nice. Okay, now the next our stop motion video is done. The next thing we're gonna do, go to file, go to export, and then go to media. We're going to uh, render the video, uh, in uh, our video into an actual video file. Okay, so click OK. Okay, okay and then uh, the export settings vi uh, window will appear. Okay, now uh, make sure in under format choose H.264. This is one of the most uh, universal video format at the uh, nowadays. Okay, and then uh, preset. Okay, uh, I'm going to choose HD 720p25. That was the our sequence setting. Okay, then the next thing, uh, go to the output name. Click on the orange text here. The or and then the window will appear, so the save as window will appear. Okay, I'm going to call it mouse stop motion video. Okay, and then I'm going to click save. Okay, it's not yet done. The rest just can just keep it as it is. Okay, and then I'm going to click on export. The default setting is fine, yeah? so you just click on export. It shouldn't take too long, depending on the speed of your computer. Okay, once you are done, you can go to Finder. Oh yes, uh, you should remember to save your project. Always remember to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna save. Okay, and I'm going to Finder. So you can see uh, our exported video is over here. I'm going to double click, launch it in. Uh, Quick time player, let me just resize it a little bit. Okay. Okay, and that's the end of a very simple demonstration on creating a very simple stop motion video. Thank you for watching.